Welcome to the Village Golf Club, 122 Country Club Drive in Royal Palm Beach, Florida. The Palm Beach's best kept golf secret. The Village Golf Club offers plush fairways, rolling green, an awesome practice facility with real grass driving range, chipping green, complete with sand traps, and a putting green. Here's the view from the first tee, but let's go over the entire course layout. The Village Golf Club offers five different tee boxes. Choose the one that fits your skill level. The golds are 6,860 yards, while the reds are 5,062 yards. At the Village Golf Club, we pride ourselves in offering a challenging course for the skilled golfer while still allowing the average golfer to come out and enjoy a great day on the course. Hole number one, 428 from the tips or the gold tees and 301 from the red or ladies tees. This hole is a very challenging hole to start with. Uh, nice fairway bunker about 162 yards from the green uh, and it would certainly be uh, a challenge for the gold tees, uh, 266 to clear it. Uh, 139 for the ladies tees to clear that uh, fairway hazard and then of course the green being 27 yards deep it does provide a great starting hole. Hole number two, a par three, 159 yards from the tips, 116 from the ladies tees. Hole three, a challenging par five with water all the way down the right side from tee to green. Hole number four is a par four, perhaps the most challenging core, a hole on the course, or one of the most challenging, uh, certainly number one rated handicap hole on the course, 421 from the gold tees and 310 from the ladies tees. This hole offers a lot of challenges with woods right and left, uh, as well as a uh, fairway bunker on the left, and on your approach shot to the green, a nice size lake that you got to watch out for. Hole 5, another par 4, this one only 375 from the gold and 289 from the ladies tees. And it does require a little bit of straight shooting here though, you have woods off to the right and left on this hole, as well as a, a couple of fairway bunk approach shot, you have a bunker blocking the left front of the green as well as one off the back left. Very charming golf course, beautiful hole. Hole number 6, another par 4, pretty straightforward, but watch out for that water on the right. Hole number seven is a slight dog leg left, and again, a challenging hole. You want to play your clubs right here and perhaps tee off with a three wood or an iron to land in a nice spot in the middle of the fairway. Hole number eight brings us to another par three, and don't let this par three fool you. It's a challenging hole, especially with a 24 yard green on a windy day. Hole number nine is a challenging par five dog leg left with fairway bunkers as well as four bunkers around the green protecting a 29-yard deep putting surface. After a brief stop at the clubhouse, we head to hole number 10. Hole number 10, again, a par 4. This one dog leg to the right. The water hazard and bunker on the right, as well as a bunker on the left side of this fairway. Again, you may want to take a little bit of target practice and drop down to your 3-wood or a long iron on this tee shot. Hole number 11, even though it's a straightaway par 5, it does offer some challenges with the uh, right and left side here. Uh, on the right, of course, we have just past the fairway bunkers, uh, water has it, and uh, then there's a second fairway bunker uh, just short of the green, about 92 yards short of the green, so watch out on this one. Try to hit it straight. Hole number 12, rated the number two handicap hole on the course, second toughest hole on the course, offers a dog leg right par four with pretty narrow landing zone. Again, you want to get your target practice here, and this is not a short par four at all. 350 yards from the red, 449 from the gold. Hole 13, not a very long par four, dog leg left, uh, challenges some of the skilled golfers to take out their driver and try to put it just off the front of the green. But beware, the landing zones here are narrow. You may be smarter just hitting irons in the middle of the fairway and coming in from 150 yards out just past those fairway bunkers. Hole 14, absolutely, in my opinion, the most challenging par 3 on the course. And be careful, the tee box is a little deceiving. It tends to point you out over that lake. Make sure you line up properly on this one. Hole 15, kind of a straightaway par 4 here with fairway bunkers right and left. 
decent landing zone as well. This is one you might want to just go ahead and relax and enjoy. Hole 16. Don't let the short distance of this par 4 fool you. That water that goes across the front, uh, very few, if ever, have I ever seen that water get cleared on a tee shot for those that want to take out the big guns and think they can hit the ball 305 yards. Think again. That's an elevated green there with plenty of undulation. You're better off just laying up here. Hole number 17, the final par 3 on the course. And one thing I've found every time I play this hole is the distance is deceiving. Not only do you have water surrounding the, the green, with, with plenty of landing zone, don't worry about that. The distance of this hole is very deceiving for two reasons. The green's a bit elevated, but you also, on a breezy day, catch a wind coming off the 18th fairway that doesn't, you don't feel it on a tee box. So when you take out your normal club on this to hit your 151 yards from the white tees, keep in mind, there's probably a breeze up there you don't know about. The final hole, hole number 18, is a huge par 5, 567 yards from the tips, 429 from the ladies' tees, and it's a dog leg left with a very narrow landing zone off that tee shot. So approach that with caution. Uh, you get an opportunity here, though, to get that great shot you're waiting for all day to get you to come back for some more. And many, many golfers have finished this hole surprisingly well and had a story to tell back at the clubhouse. And there you have it, the course layout at the Village Golf Club. Now you're back at the clubhouse enjoying a beverage and looking into some of our specials. The rewards card, for instance, where you get rewards or money back, points back towards purchases in the future for every dollar you spend at the Village Golf Course, whether it be on food and beverage, greens fees, or even membership. Let us plan your next event with weddings, birthday parties, Sweet 16. The Village Golf Course offers a clubhouse with the best facility in Royal Palm Beach for throwing a party. Again, wedding venue, company outings, company get-together, and Sweet 16 birthday party. Village Golf Club offers a great venue for those events. Give us a call at 561-793-1400 or visit us on the web at thevillagegolfclub.com. That's thevillagegolfclub.com.